Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another exciting Unity tutorial with me, Romy Fozzi. In this video, we are going to continue the third-person controller with Playmaker, and this time we are going to create a pickup object mechanics. So here, this is what we are going to create. Now, if I press left shift, you see we will be able to play the pickup animation. And if we try to go get near to this barrel here, if I press shift, we will be able to pick the barrel up and we can move around and then we can throw the barrel by pressing shift again and we can pick this object again okay so let's jump to the tutorial but before we jump into the tutorials if you want to learn how to create a game from scratch to a complete game check out my online unity courses i've published a couple of courses covering best practices in game development with topics ranging from programming to visual tuning desktop to a mobile platform object-oriented programming, and many other useful tips. With the price of a takeaway, you'll get lifetime access to the course. Link in the description below. First, let's prepare the animator for creating the pickup mechanics. So let's select the child object, male C object here, and open the animator window. And let's create a new state here. And this is for the picking up animation. So let's just rename this to pick up and I've already prepared an animation and I've also put the link in the description and here I'm going to pick up the carry pick up overhead and then drag the motion here and I'm going to create a transition from any state to the pick up state here and also create a transition from the pick up state to the idle move here we need to create a couple of trigger so I'm going to create first one would be the pick up and then the other one will be the throw and the last one will be the cancel pick up to transition to the pick up animation we need to use the pick up trigger so i'm going to select the transition here and then add a condition and pick the pick up trigger for the animation transition i'm going to make this a very short transition to 0.1 and for the pick up to the idle move transition we can just leave this to default. I'm going to increase the duration though to 0.3 and we don't need any condition here. And now we need to also create a new layer for the upper body part because we want to make sure that whenever we play the pickup animation, we want to able move around. So we need to create a new layer with a avatar mask only applies to the upper body. So here under the layer, let's create a new layer and let's just call this upper body and we can pick an avatar mask. I've already prepared the avatar mask here, the upper body. And it's quite easy to create an avatar mask. You can just go right click here on the project tab. And then under create, pick avatar mask here. And you can set the masking to the only area that you want to affect it. So for example, if I want to affect the upper body, then I need to highlight only the upper body parts and disable the lower body parts. Okay, with that set, uh, let's also increase the weight to one and make sure the blending is override. And here, uh, we want to create a new empty state and we are not going to put animation here and let's just call this default and create another state and this is also for the pickup animation. And we want to apply the same animation. So let's just drag the clip here and create transition from default to the pickup state and vice versa. And for the transition from default to pick up, we want to set to the same settings as the one on the base layer. So let's just set the transition duration to 0.1, disable the has exit time, and add a condition uh, pick up trigger. And for the pick up to default transition, then we want to disable the has exit time, and then add the cancel pick up trigger. And then we need to create another state and this is for throwing and for throwing I'm going to use this carry pick up throw animation and we can just create transition from pick up to throw and then from throw to the default state here and for the throw to the default state we want to leave the default settings with has exit times and all of the settings here and for the pick up to throw transition we want to disable the has exit time and set the transition duration to around 0.1 but we want to use the throw trigger parameter here so let's just pick the throw trigger 
okay so now we have the animator set up for the pickable object I've prepared a small barrel here and I've downloaded it from the asset store it's this asset it's free and I'll put the link in the description and basically I've dragged one of the prefabs from the asset the small barrel and add a box collider and set the size to 0 0.65 0 0.7 and 0 0.65 on the X and Y and Z axis I've also add a rigid body component to it and set its tag to a new tag that I've created called pickable you can create your own tags and just set the object to that custom tag and I also set the child game object y position to negative 0.35 by default it was 0 and I've set this purposely so the game object pivot it's on the middle as you can see here and if I select the parent game object we have this pivot on the middle and this will affect the barrel positioning when the player picks the barrel up later now we need to create a pickup parent so this object will be the parent when we pick up this barrel object here in order to do that let's create a new empty child object here and if we open the animation window here and select the male C game object we can select the carry pickup overhead and we want to go to the end of frame here and I'm going to lock this preview animation window so we can just enable the lock here and with this lock if we select our game object it will stay at this pose here and we can reposition this empty game object so I'm going to put it here on the middle of the hand here and I'm going to add a, a spear collider and make the radius quite small so around 0.2 and enable the trigger option and let's just call this pick up parent and then we want to expand the game object so we can see all of the bones object here and I'm going to set this as the child of the right hand so we can just search for the right hand here uh, and it's here so let's just drag this drag the pickup parent so we can attach it to the character right hand bones and there you go here okay so now if we move this the game object should follow the hand now let's start working on the FSM I've already prepared the FSM templates and I've put a comment inside the FSM so you can check it out how the FSM works and I've also put the FSM template links in the description below so now let's import the templates let's go to the asset menu custom package and I'm going to pick the pickup templates here and then I'm going to import this once we import this we will have this custom FSM templates folder and this pickup mechanics and pickup parent so I'm going to select the player game object and I'm going to add a new FSM and I'm going to replace this FSM with the templates that we've just imported so let's just choose paste template go to general and then pick the pickup mechanics and we can just press yes now we have this state here and I'm going to delete the first state and I'm going to rename the name to pickup mechanic and there are a couple things that we need to set up and I've already exposed the a variable that we need to set here so let's just expand here under the playmaker FSM inspector and for the animator object we need to drag the child game object and for the animation trigger we need to revert to the animator trigger here so for the cancel pickup we can just type cancel pickup and for the pickup animator trigger we can just type pickup and this has to be the same with the one that we've set up in the animator and for the throw animator I'm going to type throw and you can explore all of the state here the states are renamed and commented and each of the states has couple actions in it depending on the state here and this is for picking up the object and parenting to the pickup parent and we need to also set up the jumping FSM so the backup mechanics will know if the player is currently standing or it's currently jumping so let's just go to the jumping here and on the first state I'm going to add a set FSM boolean and move this to the top of the stack and I'm going to pick the pickup mechanics FSM and let's just pick the is jumping variable and we want to disable this here on start 
but we want to copy this action and when we start to jump here we want to paste it here and move this also to the top of the stack and we want to enable the value to true so whenever we start to jump the is jumping on the pickup mechanics will be true and we won't be able to pick any object while we are jumping so this is to prevent that and whenever we land then we are going to set the is jumping value back to false okay so yeah that is what we need to set up with the pickup mechanics the other thing that we need to set up is the pickup parent that we've set up before here so i'm going to expand all of the bones here and if we go to the character right hand you see that we have this pick up parent and i'm going to select this pick up parent and right click here on the fsm window and i'm going to paste the template and we can just use the pick up parent here and now there is a couple of error here because we need to assign the parent game object on the first state here so we will able to send this game object into one of the variable on the pickup mechanics so here if we scroll up we can just drag the player game object to this slot here and for the value we want to set its own object so we can just select the pickup parent and then drag this pickup parent game object to the slot here so we want to send this game object itself to this variable name on the pickup mechanics and here uh, we need to also send the picked object or the object that has been triggered by the spear collider of this uh, pickup parent to the parent game object so we can just drag the player again to the slot here and another thing that we need to set up in the pickup parent here we need to define the tag that we want to use in this trigger event here and if we select the prefab small barrel you see that we have tag pickable so let's just use that tag so I'm going to pick the parent pickup here and on the trigger event I want to pick the pickable tag here and now let's save the scene and give it a try so now if we press left shift you see that we are playing the pickup animation and let's try to pick up this uh, barrel and as you can see we are picking up the barrel and now if we press shift again it will throw the barrel okay so this conclude the tutorial and I've included the FSM template so you can just download it and explore yourself I've put a lot of comment into it explaining each of the state task or what it does on each of the state and if you like this tutorial hit that like button and also subscribe for more Unity tutorials with C Playmaker and Bolt. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.